Welcome to a new week, everyone. Welcome to Coors Field as well as the Rockies open up this three-game set against the Cincinnati Reds, a team that they have enjoyed great success with, especially here at 20th and Blake over the years. Connor C Austin wins, wants it down. Now the target up. That's chopped toward short. Skips past the range of Tobar. India's aboard. So there's a man on base. 2-1. Popped up. Right side. Mike Moustakis. One away. Line towards short, over the leap and extension of Tovar. Later break for India, he sprints through second. He challenges Gritchick in left, who throws to second. India goes first to third, base hit Jake Fraley, he stays hot. The opposite field hitting, that makes the batting coach very happy when you see. He's a runner and first baseman. That's Polk with purpose to right center. That splashes down a base hit. India jogs in, Fraley shoots through second, throw to third, the tag, he's out. Backside alertly, Steer takes second, so the Reds still have a man in scoring position. But Fraley cut down, Reds keep pushing the defense to make a play to get you out. Back-to-back -back opposite field hits. I gotta like the way the Reds are swinging the bats. Two-two. Struck him out. Work the fastball up, Reds get a run. India on and in, the ribby to Steer. But it's it's good enough to go. Whoa. This ball high and deep right field. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Into the second deck for Mike Moustakis. The Moose roars. 1-1. One, one. back and watch this swing again because everything's connected and I love the high finish by Moose too. I mean, he keeps both hands on the bat, he finishes strong and it goes five rows deep into the second deck. I didn't know we had Snoop Dogg in the house tonight. <laughs> this ball's well Ooh. hit to right center field. This one is off the very top of the wall. Gritchick in a second with a double. He's now got a 14-game hitting streak going back to last year. Just can't get him out. And this ball line to center field. Gritchick around third. He'll get a green light. And the throw is going to be cut off. The Rockies take a 2-1 to one lead. And as you were just talking about, Huey, on a 3-1 count, Harold. 1-2. And they got him on a slider, so that's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up catcher Austin wins. A reminder leads off first. And a fastball will get wins for the second out. That'll bring up Brenton Doyle. A fourth fastball. That rhythm between pitcher and catcher. Doyle first pitch, whacks it over third, base hit. Sprint through second by Castro. Just now gathered on the track by Fraley. Stop sign at third. Throw in cut by McLean. Standing double for Doyle. And this ball down the line. Fair ball. That'll bring in two. Blackman on his way to second. And the Rockies have a four to one lead. He's going to head to third. How about a triple for Chuck Nasty? First of the year. Month later. That'll end the inning, but the Rockies throw four on the board, and the first one still traveling. Mike Moustakis. Short, he came around to score in the first inning. Grounds this routine to second. Castro. Hit to left center, that's down, base hit. McLean turns, he challenges for two, the throw to second, hustle, double!
taking extra bases all the way. Ford, I can tell you that. Same thing everybody who's seen a game here at Coors Field will tell you. Balls that are any time in the gap, the outfielder has to run to it, and he's going to have to stop and turn to throw. Then you take second base if you've got some speed. He does that. Solid double. Opposite way, base hit. Wave is on. They test Grinchick, throw to the plate. Here comes McLean on the slide. Safe. And Fraley alertly claims second. Single second on the throw. McLean has his first run. And the Reds trim the deficit to two. Well, another And there's a walk for Ramos. Figure out a way to piece it together. Myers lays down a bunt. Seabold gathers, play it first. Got him. He moves the runners up. I believe he will decide if there was intent. To me, the guy should always get the sacrifice. Fairchild in the air to right. Bryant over. Plenty deep enough in this big park. Tag at third by Senzel. Tag at second by Ramos. Throw in gets neither. Sack fly RBI. Senzel scores. And the Reds are within one. Well, the sack Ramos is one of the Reds' most aggressive base runners. Chopped right side. Gets full base hit. Ramos scores. India connects a two-hit day. Tied at four. Swing and a miss. Reds get a couple of runs. The day deadlocked by India. And wins with a base hit the other way. And that's the eighth Rockies hit. And the guy coming to the plate saw one. 75th pitch already coming up. And Doyle hits this in the air, high and deep to right. It's got carry. It is gone. Have a night, Britt Doyle. Home run on his 25th birthday, and a day later, he's just as good. Rockies back in front, six to four. His kids are coming, isn't he? Yes, he is. It's so much. When this ball left the bat, you knew it had a chance, but I was watching the guys down in the dugout, and they were kind of waving it their way. Or, excuse me, out in the bullpen. Hopefully you're smiling along with me. <laughs> yeah, in their graves. <laughs> <laughs> this is down the line again. But this time, not extra bases for Charlie. As Spencer Steer made a nice play. Let's go back. That's ball four. They're going to do a remake of it. By the way, is as well coming up. Gene Hackman is yet to be caught. Not going to two. And a foul tip. Strike three. Kind of a delayed call count. Obviously the pitch count. This ball right at the first baseman steer. He'll step on the back. The Rockies get a two-run oppo shot from Brent Doyle. They're up six to four on the Reds. How about that pretty flight? Tickets sold. Go to fight ALS. Tickets now. Reds.com slash Zach Brown Band. Jake Fraley, first pitch. Pop to foul ground. Tracked down by McMahon. That brings up Spencer's. Line over third. Base hit. Steer rounds third. He challenges for second. Throw from Grichik on a bound. Wide outfield side. Hustle double for Steer. He's got. Crush to left center field. That gets down all the way to the wall. Steer rips around third. He jogs in. Stevenson gallops to second. A standing RBI double. And the Reds back within one. Needs to do so. Check swing. He holds off. Works a walk. Three straight Reds have reached. Oh, 
Lifted high in the air, left field. Gritchick can't see it. Gritchick misses it. Runners were halfway. And the Reds get some help. A ball lost in the twilight sky. Stevenson to third, sends L to second. Bases loaded on the... Strikes out Myers on three. That gets away. Runners break. No recovery for wins. Everyone advances. And the Reds tie the game. Stevenson home. Sends out to third. Ramos, Ramos up to second base. Good bat. Strike three called. Multiple strikes of what looked to be off the plate away. Fairchild down looking. Striking out three. Got everybody else out. He is amazing. Center field. Coming in is Doyle off the end of the bat. Did he catch that? Oh, Doyle what a grab. What can he do? That's the double. Our Liberty Mutual Insurance field coverage. He's got the whole thing covered. It's What's amazing about this play is he actually slips before he makes his jump. So he slides, he's almost spinning out. 2-2 Two -two on Stevenson. RBI double his last time up and the fastball freezes Tyler. And that is out number two in the seventh. <laughs> Not overrated that. That just missed. So ball four on Senzel. And that'll bring up Henry Ramos, the switch hitting DH. Third time just uh, a, a much crisper pace. Runner going and the throw to second by Wins. Austin Wins cuts down Nick Senzel to end the inning. Austin Wins has thrown well and Elias Diaz has thrown exceptionally well this year. Bottom of the seventh inning, the Rockies seeing Ben Lively and that's going to be the first guy to reach against Lively. It's an infield hit. Ryan McMahon hit it off uh, the sister who the traveling pants. What's that? <laughs> what? Mustak is on deck. And this ball is well hit to right. And it is run down there by Myers. And Mack, who is within a couple of strides a second, has to go all the way back. 10.3 miles an hour. And this ball lifted to deep right center field. And on the warning track, it's pulled in by Will Myers. Well, you could tell Moose didn't get all of that because he carried his bat down. If you're, if you're scuffling, it seems like every pitch the pitcher throws is just a great pitch. And a good at bat again for Randall. He draws a walk and that pushes the go ahead run into scoring position with Harold Castro coming up. And Harold has swung it well tonight. He's got two. And this ball turned on, hit to deep right. If it's fair, it's a crop for the Reds. Plenty fair. McMahon has scored. Here comes Gritchick to the house. He'll score standing up. Two up double Harold Castro. And the Rockies are back in front into six. How clutch was that? Three hits. When he hit it, if he thought this one might hook foul, he really had to pull the hands in close to his body here. Because he kind of stood at home looking momentarily at it. Harold. And a swing and a miss. So Tovar for the fourth time goes down, but damage done with two outs. Harold Castro lofting a double to deep right, scoring McMahon and Gritchick. Going to the eighth, the Rockies are plus two on the scoreboard. First pitch, Ramos off the glove of the leaping toe bar. Ramos thinking two. He sprints up to second. Throw to second base. Safe. The Reds have hustled all night, and Ramos legs out a two bagger.
payoff. Meyer skies it center field. Doyle in deep center makes the catch. Tag at third for Ramos. Sack fly RBI. Reds creep back within a run. It's 8-7. 23 against him with 16 strikeouts. And pretty good pitch right there to get a strikeout on Fairchild. Two gone. Yeah, lefty's 136, righty's 281, but <laughs> I go to Miami with friends and family. And he is the strikeout victim here. So Brad Hand strikes out the last two. Gives up a leadoff double to Ramos and ultimately a run. So it's a one-run game going to the Rockies would love to provide him with some insurance and wins. It's a high fly ball to shallow left. Extending his glove is Jack is Jake Fraley. One out. He'll bring up Brent Doyle's been one of the love his chances at quickly ending up at second. Well, this ball is hit to deep center field. Did he click this one? You bet! He's done it again! To the rules! How about that pop? To the Falcons in center. The Rockies lead by two again. Popeye Doyle. <laughs> he definitely... Again, staying behind the ball and gets this slider. And for Mr. Farmer, he's not happy about it, obviously, because he's like, wait a second. This guy hit one home run, now he's got two tonight? Pitcher's got to love it. A little more margin. Charlie goes down, two outs. So Dougie did a little quick research, because that's what Dougie does. Great research. Ball four. So Ryan McMahon draws a two out walk. He's been on three times tonight. Two walks and a base hit. And that will. This ball hit to left field and deep, but not quite deep enough. In the inning, Brenton Doyle, his second home run of the ball game. He hit one to right earlier. This one dead central to give the Rockies a 9-7 lead. They need three outs to shake hands in Lodo. A four-pitch walk. To left center. Doyle tracks it down on a slide. McLean nearly a top second. Jogs back to first. Boy, he's got a walk. It's been his fellow rookie, Brent Doyle, who has stolen the show so far. Steer, base hit to right. McLean up to second base. What a good flat swing for Spencer. Giant lead for Steer all first. Stevenson pops it up. Tolly is in for defense. Foul ground. Over second, base hit. McLean giving the green light around third. He comes home. Reds within one. Two out ribby for Sinzel. It's 9 8. Two outs, Rockies hanging on by a thread. And this ball is in the air to center field. Brett Doyle appropriately will squeeze it with the 27th out. And the Rockies win it 9-8. to eight. And Doyle should hang on to that baseball because he's going to get the chain and the game ball tonight. Well, just throw it in the crowd. What a ball game for number nine and a nice win for the Rockies tonight in the opening game of a three-game set. Again, they beat Cincinnati 9-8. to eight. Bard gets the win. Lively takes the loss. Pierce Johnson ends up with his seventh save.